what we have done is given you, if you go back to your notebooks, we've created a uh, second notebook, or a th rather a third, called Workshop 2C Helpers, or Mimic Helpers, Writing Labeling Functions. So this is an exact copy of the other notebook. So you can feel free to look at this notebook and copy stuff back over to whatever you've been working in the previous notebook. But what we've added um, basically is this import here. I'll go and load this. And this is a bunch of bio helper libraries. This will take a little bit of time to load. Um, but what we've done, I'm not breaking my own rule again, run everything in order. Okay. Wait for that to wrap up. But I sort of packaged up a super noisy version of what we used in the device surveillance work, which again will eventually be released when the code for that project's released. But these are all the helper functions that we use to write that um, paper and these were employed in some way when writing labeling functions. We took them, they were actually developed on Stanford data, and we just picked them right up and set them down to run on Mimic data. For these to work, we actually pre-computed everything. So these aren't applied on the fly, so that makes them very fast. But I'm loading this giant compressed file behind the scenes for everything for all of Mimic. But So my suggestion, well, we'll just chat more while we're waiting for this to load, um, but there are a lot of off-the-shelf tools you could imagine using. So someone mentioned Tagger1. You could easily wrap that up as a labeling function. You can use stuff like NegX, which is actually what we use for the negation detection. Um, there's a more sophisticated version of NegX called Context. These are all just rule-based stuff. Um, in like the radiology side of the world, if you extract a bunch of stuff from radiology reports, which is, are very, very formulaic, I think we just wrapped up, uh, you can, now oh, this is going to take long to load here too, double whammy. There are just a lot of rule-based systems that people use commonly, for, especially for clinical domains where you can't share a lot of labeled data. And those can all be repurposed as labeling functions. That's sort of the big takeaway here. And what have I done? Well, I just wrote this pretty dumb sort of loop where I pull out all of the particular attributes that these helper functions would return, and then I randomly select when I find one to show you what the uh, um, output would be. So in this case, um, you know, the right ventricular free wall is hypertrophied. It's under the section of conclusions. Um, notice that it's uh, uh, coming out as negated, which is interesting. Um, I wonder why that is. These are noisy, that's fine, remember. Uh, these are actually all coming out as negated, interesting. No, but these are truly negated. Okay, um, so the patient denied excessive intake of milk. It's gonna be true negated because it looks to the left of the mention. Um, you know, there's no aortic valve stenosis, that's truly negative. No aortic regurgitation, no, no, no. If we were around to this again, there's some randomness. Right, so here's, uh, I didn't get any ones. Let's just take this out, make this more interesting. Okay, so now this is hypothetical, if you were vomiting. Um, this is historical, bleeding likely thought to be slow, history of juginal AVMs. This is also historical, which is uh, history of, so you get these sort of common noisy clinical abbreviations. And we could look, um, Yeah, so a couple, only a few if related, you know, if you develop. So these are all, in my experience, depending on how you form your clinical problem. Like often you're only interested, this task is a little weird um, in the sense that they don't care if it's negated or hypothetical historical, they just want you to blast every relationship. But in most applied problems, you don't really care about one circumstance like did it happen now in the document or you know within some window of time and these functions uh, 
are super useful, or this type, this, these style of functions are super helpful for writing labeling functions. Um, the other thing, which uh, uh, worth mentioning, so this last bit, notice that I'm returning all of these um, sort of entities. This is me specifically asking for certain concepts in the sentence. We've tagged all of these broad categories of types. So you can call that on any concept. And this will return every concept in the sentence with you. Um, yeah, and I don't recall if it gives you, I think it's just a list. Um, that would be easy to modify to be the expands themselves. But um, if you wanted to do like ordering or see between kind of stuff. OK? So feel free to use these. I would probably cut and paste them into your old notebook, unless it's easy to graft your old labeling functions into this notebook.